Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So I am in the middle of what I'm calling Mother's Day Madness. And if you are a flower farmer, I'm sure you are doing the exact same thing. So I basically just wanted to set up the camera and show you guys my flow and everything I'm uh, getting ready for Mother's Day, what I'm offering, and then I will be showing you everything once I have it put together. So. Obviously right now I'm sitting here cleaning my tulips. Um, I figured out what I think is a pretty good workflow. I have this big tray that I get them out of the fridge. I carry them out here and basically I'm grabbing them out of the tray, cutting the bulb off. These all get composted and then I take the lower couple leaves off. And then basically I just make a pile here and until I think that it's big enough, you know, maybe 50 or so tulips, then I grab it and I carry it into my utility room where I have a utility sink and that's where I wash this off further and then I carry them back in here and I sort them into two piles. I sort them into longer stems, um, which would be something like this. And then I short, sort them into shorter stems, which would be something like this. You can see the difference. And the longer stems all get packaged together. Um, I wrap them up, which I'll show you guys. They go back in the fridge and rehydrate overnight. These will go in wrapped bouquets. The shorter ones all get hydrated together. And then these will go in my jarred arrangements. So yeah, that is my process. Um, I have been working on this since this morning. I did take a little bit of a break and I had to put together 15 bouquets and then I delivered them to a bakery that's about 25 minutes away. This one doesn't even have a tulip on it. Um, so I did do that and so it's about 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm about 400 tulips in. I think I have about 500 more to go and basically my goal for today is to get all of the tulips washed, rewrapped, and in the fridge to hydrate overnight. Then I'm gonna come in bright and early tomorrow morning, which is Friday, and I'm gonna start putting together um, all of my arrangements and my wrapped bouquets. Um, so here's a picture of what my wrapped bouquets are going to look like. These are gonna be priced at $25. They will include 11 tulips. And I took pre-orders for these, um, but once I kind of estimated about how many tulips I have, I tried to count every single time I did a harvest and put them in the fridge. Um, so I ended up selling more than what my pre-sale was. Um, so I have those wrapped bouquets, which will be 11 tulips. And then here's a picture of the vase arrangement that I will be selling. These are $40 and these include um, not only the globe vase, but they include about 17 tulips. Um, you know, I've made up a couple already. Uh, one of them was 18 tulips because the actual tulips are a little bit smaller. Another one was larger tulips and so it was more like 15. And so um, the vase arrangement is going to be somewhere between 15 to 18 tulips. And so I have pre-sold 18 of those arrangements. So tomorrow, when I come in bright and early, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make up 18 arrangements, then I'm gonna make up my wrapped bouquets and I'm gonna set all of those aside for the pickups. Then I need to make at least um, 30 to 35 more of the $25 bouquets because Saturday, um, during the day, I'm headed to an event with a few other vendors um, at a store that's about 10 minutes away from here, and she's having a food truck and other vendors um, and some craft Mother's Day classes, and I'm going to be set up at her store with tulips. I have no idea how many people will be there, but she has a very big following, um, so I really would like to have... Um, you know, 30 to 35 of these $25 bouquets. So tomorrow after I get all of my pre-orders done and I make a few deliveries, I'm gonna put all of those together. And then if I have any extras, then I can, you know, either take more than I anticipated to this event, or I can put a post on social media saying, you know, I have X amount of extra bouquets. Um, I mean, I'd like to have as many as possible for this Saturday event 
but you know I don't want to end up with a bunch of extra at the end of the day either so it's just really hard to guess but anyway those are my Mother's Day plans now I'm getting a pretty good pile here of tulips so I'm gonna set up the camera and show you how I'm rinsing these off and then the next process and then I'm gonna show you um, how I am wrapping these and putting these into hydrate all right so we're back in my furnace room this is my utility sink and I'm basically just gonna show you how I rinse these off Then once these get rinsed off, they get put on a piece of cardboard on this shelf and then I can carry them all out at one time back to my sorting table. All right, so I'm at the next table over. This is where I am sorting everything. You can see I have a bucket right here of tulips that are wrapped that are hydrating. So basically I'm just putting these in a pile um, with the shortest versus something that I can use for um, a wrapped bouquet so I'm gonna quickly do that some nice long ones in this bunch this one let's hope that he goes upright something happened when that guy was getting stored so I'm gonna take this small bunch I'm just using my craft paper or newspaper and I'm wrapping them up that way I usually tape them with some packaging tape. So as I put them on the paper, I count them. Hopefully that's not in your guys' way. So, two. okay. So I have them in here. I like to make sure that the flower is kind of in the paper. Then I'm gonna wrap it up nice and snug. This paper got a little bit damp, doesn't matter. And I just put a piece of tape on it and then I'm gonna put it in my bucket and make sure all the stems are reaching down into the water. All right, now this bucket is full, so this is gonna go in the fridge and these are gonna stay tightly wrapped overnight to hydrate. And because I'm wrapping them tightly and they're standing up like this, when they rehydrate, their stem is gonna be nice and firm. Now you can see this tulip, this actually doesn't look too bad. This is pretty droopy. This is because it's been stored with the ball bond for a little bit. Um, this one also is a little droopy. I mean, some really hang down, but when I store this overnight wrapped up tightly in the fridge, it will become nice and solid and very sturdy and go right into a bouquet tomorrow. Um, it may even get longer overnight in the water. It's gonna start to open a little bit tomorrow. So it's gonna be actually absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna go get these in the fridge. I'm gonna continue cleaning all of my tulips. I probably have at least 450 left. And then um, once I get these done, I'll show you where I have everything. And then I will make sure to continue this video tomorrow when I'm actually putting all of the arrangements and bouquets together. Well, good morning. It's Friday morning and it's time to put all of my Mother's Day bouquets together. You can see I have one bucket right here. I literally cleaned tulips yesterday for nine hours. It took me way longer than I thought. And I think for next year, now that I know kind of the process that I need, I will have things set up a little different, but it actually went pretty good. Um, I also probably could have done some the day before, but um, you know, I also had that bakery delivery yesterday, but anyway, they're all clean. Most of them all stored in the fridge really good. I bet I threw away a dozen is all that didn't look good, which um, out of almost a thousand bulbs, that's pretty darn good. So um, this is one bucket that I had to take home last night and put in the fridge because I didn't have room here. Um, now I should mention when I'm talking about storing tulips and refrigerators, you wanna make sure that you have a dedicated refrigerator just for storing your flowers or you know, if you have a garage fridge that maybe just has some soda or, or other drinks in it, that is fine. You never wanna put your tulips in a fridge that has fruit because the gases that the fruit emits will age the tulips faster. So just an FYI for those of you that think that you can just 
pop your bouquet in a regular refrigerator. Don't do it if there's fruit in there because your tulips won't last as long. Anyway, uh, I have, I need to go get my list. I know I have 17 arrangements to put together. I have, I think, 12 or 13 pre-order bouquets to put together. Um, then I have a couple other special bouquets that are going out on a grave to do. I have one weekly order of three other bouquets to put together. And then I have at least 35 that I wanna put together to take to that event tomorrow. So, whew, I have a lot to do. Uh, it's about nine o'clock right now. And I'm gonna start putting together some bouquets first. Um, I have a few deliveries to make, which I thought I would do at 10.30. And then from one to five is when I'm telling people they can stop in to pick up uh, what they're picking up today. I have some people picking up today between one and five. And then I have a few picking up tomorrow morning, Saturday morning between eight and nine before I head to the event. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting together some wrapped bouquets first because I know this bucket is a lot of the taller tulips. Um, then once I get through this bucket, I think I'm going to start in on the arrangements. Um, I have a six foot white table here that I'm going to work off of today. My other little four foot table I need to wash off and I'm going to put that out front with a cute little tablecloth and I'm going to have some crates next to it and that's where I'm going to display the different bouquets and arrangements that are being picked up today. So I'm going to start laying out these tulips and then I'll show you how I'm easily putting together these $25 tulip bouquets. Before I forget to show you guys, here is a look at the fridge that I have where most of my tulips are. I like to keep this at about 36 to 38 degrees. And you can see, well, if this will adjust, there we go. You can see I have them all wrapped in paper stored upright in buckets. Here's the second shelf. Some of them I was able to put in vases to save space. And then these are the black buckets from Johnny's. Some of these look a little bit curved, but that's okay. And then all of these are stored nice and upright. You can tell these are some of the shorter ones, so I'll probably use those in arrangements. And these taller ones, these will be perfect for my wrap bouquets. And then this little thing, this is a Govi. This is a little wireless transmitter that keeps track of the temperature and the humidity so I can check it on my phone and I can set alerts if my fridge gets down to a certain temperature then I know that I need to change it. Okay, so I have all of the tall tulips here laid out. Um, there's just a couple things that I wanted to show you. Um, now a tulip like this one is just fine to use, but this petal that's kind of coming off, I'm just gonna pull that one off. That just happened when it was being stored. And then this one is just a little too far open for when I wanna use it in a bouquet. Um, I mean, it'd probably be okay, but uh, this is starting to fall down and I'm seeing the inside, so I'm just gonna get rid of this one too. But the rest of them all look absolutely beautiful. And what I find works really good for me when I'm doing a whole bunch of these bouquets that are gonna be the same is just to do an assembly line. So for example, I'm gonna take um, this tulip, I think it's called Cummins, it's a purple fringe tulip, and I want one of these in each bouquet. So I'm just gonna make four piles. I'm gonna start off with four bouquets. Then I'm going to take, um, let's do these big apricot ones. So I'm going to put one of these in a pile. And then I'm going to take yellow, because I can see a whole bunch of these yellow ones laying here. I'm just going to put one of those in a pile. And I'm just going to keep doing these until I get, um, you know, a half a pile here and then I'm gonna pick it up and finish it. So then I see, if that makes sense to you guys, so I see purple ones laying here. This is a double one. I think it's called Backpacker. Put one of those in each pile. And these are $25 bouquets and so I'm putting 11 tulips in here. Now I do have some of this Super Parrot variety. So I'll put some of those in one. I might only have a couple of those in in here, so I'll even the other ones out with yellow. Um, let's do another round of the apricot ones. Two, three, four, two, three, four. Looking good, this one doesn't have any yellow, so I'm gonna grab a couple of yellow and put it in that, and then I might as well just get started. So I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to add four more to this. 
So a lot of times I'll put these big single tulips. Some of these are Darwin's. I'll put it right in the center because those are obviously the largest ones. Um, this one I think could use another yellow, maybe another purple. How many did I say I had? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need two more and this one is done. Let's throw an orange in there. And then another, um, I think this one's Icoon. That's another orange as well. Okay, so here's the 11. So this is what it looks like. And I'll put some close-ups on the screen too of all my finished tulips so you guys can see some close-ups because I know you like to see what they look like. I also plan to do a video probably next week on my favorite tulip varieties that I grew this season and some that I'm ordering for next season. So make sure to watch for that. Um, but this is the bouquet. Now I do like to do a variety of some that are a little more open and some that are tightly closed within the bouquet. That way when people are purchasing it, they can see what it looks like, but it's also going to last a really long time. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this up about even on all of them. And I'm going to grab... I'm gonna fill up one of these bases of water. I'm noticing a little bit of mud on the bottom still, which um, of course I didn't get all the mud off of it. I just wanna be able to kind of dunk it if I need to. I should have trimmed, you know what, I'm gonna trim it first. There we go. There. Just wash that right off the end. Now I'm gonna take one rubber band to hold the bouquet together. I'm actually gonna be using two rubber bands for these. So I'm gonna go around about three times. Then for these, because I wanted to be able to work fast and I didn't wanna to have to take the time to cut all this paper because I have so many bouquets, I ordered these um, pre-made craft paper sleeves from Johnny's. These, I believe, are the, they're either the small or medium size, whatever the 12 inches. But that is what I ordered. This is a 12 inch size. And I almost could have got the size smaller. Um, I know there's an extra small, so maybe that these are the small. So they just slide down in here and I'm going to put the tulips just down inside the paper a little bit so they're protected. Now the ones that I'm taking tomorrow, they will look much taller in the morning because the tulips will probably grow overnight. And then the ones that get picked up today, these will protect them when the people pick them up, you know, and put them in their car to take them to wherever they're going. This will just protect the tulips. Um, so the ones tonight may grow a little bit and be a little higher in the paper, but I'm putting them down, you know, half inch, inch into the paper. And then sometimes the paper's down a little far on the stem, so I'm going to push it up. I want at least a couple inches, so that's going to sit in water. Then I'm going to take another rubber band and I'm going to put it on top of the paper to hold the paper in place because I don't want my paper in the water getting really wet. So this is the finished bouquet. Then I'm gonna take one of my stickers and I'm gonna put it on the outside of the paper, just like that. And then this is gonna go in a bucket of water. Oh, and I have the right amount of water in here. Now these little buckets, these are the 10 liter from Johnny's. I also have the wide ones, but today I'm just gonna use the regular ones because I know that they fit in my fridge better. So I think I can fit four bouquets per bucket. So I'm gonna get these made up, we'll fill a bucket and I'll put it in the fridge until my order pickups start coming. All right, so this one has six in it already. It's got a couple parrots. This one needs more yellow. So I'm gonna automatically add a couple yellows in. Seven, eight. Sometimes it helps to kinda let it fall down in the bottom there. And these are a little wide, so I'm kinda folding it when I put it on also. One more rubber band. Grab a sticker, put it on the paper, and it's done. See how fast that was? 
Sometimes I also will fold the sleeve there just so it lays a little flatter when it goes in the water. Oh, these are gonna be just beautiful. Now, one other thing I kind of want to talk about while I'm assembling these tulips is I always get a lot of questions when I'm digging my tulips if I can replant them again. And the answer is no, unfortunately. When you pull the whole tulip in the bulb and you cut all of the greenery um, and the tulip off, that takes away all the nutrients that would that it would provide for the tulip for the next year to bloom. And so you can plant it and you may get a leaf I have some that I can tell I didn't get dug out of the ground last year that I pulled all the foliage off and I have one little leaf coming up and then it dies right away. Um, so you can try and plant it and you might get a leaf but you're not going to get a flower again. So I just compost mine. Now uh, single varieties, if you don't cut the foliage off and leave them in the ground, they will tend to naturalize better than double varieties. Double varieties may not fully come back the next year anyway. And so I don't really feel like I'm losing out on anything. Um, when you're doing cut flowers, it's just kind of known you treat them as annuals. And so I just kind of wanted to explain that because every video I tend to get a few questions about that. All right, so I have six, seven, eight. I need a couple that are more open. So see how fast I'm able to put these together? This is what I want because I know the arrangements are gonna take me a little bit longer. So I wanna be able to do these really quick. All right, I'm gonna get through all of these tulips and then I'm gonna start in on some arrangements so this video will pick back up when I'm making my little arrangement. All right, my first pickup was here already, so it's a good thing that I had three of those done. I'm gonna keep trucking and we'll pick back up when I do the arrangement. Okay, so I have three buckets of the wrapped bouquets done. I got 12 done. Um, I'm gonna stop doing that for now and I'm gonna transition over to the arrangements because I need to go deliver five of these in about an hour is when I wanted to start doing deliveries. So about from about 10.30 to 11.30, I'm gonna go make deliveries. And then I'll be back here to keep working on the orders. And I'm telling everyone, which I probably already said this, that they can pick up any time from one to five. I've already had one random person stop in and pay for a bouquet, so I've sold an extra one already. I also just got a text from the girl that runs the bakery where I took 15 bouquets to. She's been open about an hour and a half she only has three left. So that is crazy. We thought, oh, 15 bouquets, you know, that's what I thought I could spare. Um, I probably should have taken 20, maybe 25. Who knows? We'll know for next year, but she's down to only three left. So that's great news, except for the people that were hoping to stop in the rest of today and tomorrow to get some. Um, but anyway, uh, these are the vases that I'm using for my $40 arrangements. They're just a nice globe vase. I think it's a five inch globe vase. And I have a bucket here of some shorter tulips that I'm gonna be using to fill these. Now, I'm using probably around anywhere from 16 to 18 tulips in here. Um, if they're bigger, I'll be using just 16. Um, so I'm just gonna pull, I'm gonna start pulling a variety of colors. Maybe I don't want to use the LaBelle Epoque with the red ones. I'm going to pull maybe 10 and kind of make a bouquet in my hand and cut those to the correct height first. And then I can start arranging. So I think this one I'm going to do the reds and then uh, this is a flaming flag. I think these are icoons and the backpacker. I'm gonna do kind of a mix of orange, purple, and red for this one. And for these, I like to leave um, quite a few of the leaves on because that helps support the tulip and I just like that green look in there as well. Let's put one of these super parrots. It's the white and green parrots. I love the look of those. Let's use another one of these purple. Okay. So this is a good starting point. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 tulips. And then I think about the height I want, I'm gonna cut them about right here. I can always cut more off, but I cannot add. 
and I don't know if this is the right way or not to do it because I am not a trained florist. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Um, now these overnight will definitely gain height and they will open up and get huge. So knowing that I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter. Oh my gosh, that's a really good start. So now basically I'm just going to take some more tulips and kind of plug in, um, the spaces until it's nice and tight and I don't feel like they're moving. So let me get one more red one. Actually, let's use this one. It's a little different color. I like to do a mix of some that are more open and some that are tight, and then that way it lasts a little bit longer. Oh, that's looking really good. I need a purple in here. These actually go pretty darn fast. Oh, that's looking really good. I think I need one more bright one in the center. I need to make a list for that video I want to put together for you guys because I know I definitely have some favorites and so I want to share those with you because I know this is the time of year that we're all ordering our tulips for next year. In fact, I have already ordered a majority of my tulips for next year. Um, so it probably will be helpful for you guys if you see any varieties that you like that I'm using. Um, then you can go ahead and add it to your order list. There. All right, how many do I have in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's about perfect. But do I have any spaces that I need to fill? I don't think so. All right, one down. I'm going to keep moving on this and I will show them to you when I'm done. Okay, so here are the five arrangements that I already have done. That took me maybe a half an hour. Um, so these actually go really quick, but I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna go deliver these and then I'm gonna come back, do the rest of the arrangements, all the bouquets for pickup today, and then I'm gonna start seeing how many more bouquets I can get to have as many as possible for that event on um, tomorrow. So I'm gonna head out, I'll be back. All right, so I'm in the midst of making everything. I only have three more arrangements left to make and I've had quite a few pickups already, but I have my table set up out front where everything is displayed. So let me show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so here's my little setup. We are in the front of my photography studio. This is right inside, oops, if that can focus. This is right inside the front door where people walk in. So it's kind of my gallery area. But this is the table that I set up. It's just a little four foot table and I put a cute pink tablecloth on it. And these are um, the arrangements that are left to be picked up this afternoon. So I have them displayed here so that uh, people can just pick which one they want. And then I have one bucket of bouquets here. And then I have another bucket of bouquets here and one more bucket of bouquets here. Um, I don't think all of these bouquets are getting picked up this afternoon. Um, so what doesn't get picked up will just go right back in the fridge. And then this is uh, one little separate order. These are for a lady who is going to put these on her mom's grave on the vases on the side of the tombstone. So I think those are just very sweet. This is a setup when people come in. I'm just going to be in the back trucking away on putting things together for tomorrow and I will show you what everything looks like when they're done. Okay, so I made it through Friday. I ended up having all the pickups that I was supposed to. Um, I also ended up, which I'll put a picture up on the screen, I made up some extra vase arrangements with some of the shorter tulips that I had that I knew that wouldn't be able to go um, in the taller bouquets. 
I posted this picture on Facebook and literally within three minutes of posting it, somebody walked in my door and bought all three of them. Well, then I had someone else that wanted one a little bit later, so I ended up making another one. So I sold an extra $120 in arrangements just with some extra flowers by posting it on Facebook. Um, so I still have some extra short flowers, so I think what, I do, what I'm going to do is when I come in tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock really quick, I'm going to make up a couple more of those arrangements so I have a few to take to the event tomorrow. I also have 40 of the tulip wrapped bouquets that are going to be $25 ready to go to that event tomorrow. I'm so excited. So I will try to take some footage and some pictures of the event and uh, show you guys in this video next. But um, I will let you know how the whole weekend went when I am done. Okay, you guys, so it is the Monday after Mother's Day. Oh my gosh, I'm still feeling exhausted from the weekend. I could not have imagined that I sold that many tulips. Um, so as you saw through the video, I was prepping and selling bouquets for pickup on Friday. Um, I had, well, bouquets and arrangements. They were picked up Friday, and then I had a few pickups Saturday morning. Between all of my pre-orders, and then also I did a post that I may have some extra bouquets available, well, people just kept contacting me and commenting. So literally Friday, I was making them as fast as they went out the door. So between all of the pre-orders and the extras that got picked up on Friday and Saturday with bouquets and arrangements, I think I sold right around 40, which um, is more than I thought that I would sell. And then I had that event Saturday. I took as many tulips as I possibly could because I had no idea what to expect. Um, she had an amazing turnout and I took 41 bouquets, which ended up being too many, you know, but it's better to have too many than too little. I sold 26 bouquets and one nice arrangement there. So I was absolutely thrilled with that. So I brought some home and I was able to make a nice little arrangement at home for myself. Um, I gave some to my mother-in-law. I made a nice little arrangement for my mom and for the studio here, I made a nice large arrangement with the leftover tulips for myself because I really haven't been able to enjoy any tulips yet this season. So I thought I needed one nice one for the studio here. Um, by the way, as you can see, I'm in my photography studio. If you're new to my channel, I'm also a professional photographer and I have been for 20 years. Um, so I'm sitting in the front gallery area, which I think I showed you also in the beginning of this video, but I thought I'm gonna have a nice big arrangement because I have photo shoots this week and then people can come in and see that and enjoy that. So. Mother's Day was a total success. I cannot believe the amount of tulips that I sold. Um, I mean, this is what I have left. I actually harvested more yesterday on Mother's Day, so I probably have 20 to 30 tulips in the fridge for this week because I do have um, a couple pickups on Friday, but I pretty much sold everything that came up out of the ground. Um, so my tulips for next year. This week I'm gonna to put together a video for you guys on my favorite tulip varieties that bloomed this year. And I've already put in my tulip order for next year. So do you guys wanna see what I'm ordering for next year now? Or do you want me to do an unboxing in the fall when everything comes in? Comment below and let me know um, because I have everything ordered for next year already. I of course am ordering more for next year than I've ordered for this year. Because if I sold almost every single tulip that came up this year, I need more for next year. Um, because it, it just seems like I keep growing and growing. So anyway, um, thank you for watching this video. Thank you to everyone that ordered bouquets for me through Mother's Day. It was so fun. And tulips are my favorite and I'm sad to see them go. But I'm really excited to move on to the spring and summer flowers. The hoop house is almost full and now I need to start all of my in-ground planting. So the next two weeks, everything needs to get in the ground. So stay tuned for a lot of that. I hope you guys all had a really great Mother's Day and are having a good week so far and we will see you soon.